Well, the relays have been bluffed in signature this year. The Pirates in the 4x100 and the 4x400 finals today looking to push their way toward the top of the podium all morning long. No Pirates in the mile, but Antwerp's Sam Williamson gets across the line in fourth. Lincoln View's Bailey Toe, a new school record for sixth. How about the 4x1? Pirates' Isaac Little anchors a silver medal finish in 43.54. Isaiah Klein in Crestview takes third. Tenora in fourth. 400 now. Covington's Lane White wins in 48.24. Bluffton's Noah Stratton fourth. USV's George Bauer fifth. And eight is Matt Wilcox ninth. 800. Van Buren's Ted Simmons the bronze in 155.20. Grove's Bryce Sharrett sixth with Minster's Andy Albers seventh. And Riverdale, Chad Peaver eighth. 3,200 next. Crestview's Micah Grandstaff, another school record. He takes third in 931.57. St. Henry Spencer Schultz 11th. Final race of the day, the 4x4, West Liberty Salem wins in 319. Bluffton gets its third top four finish of the day with Minster 6th and Allen East 8th. A great day for the Pirates and Noah Stratton, all starting with his open 400. That was a PR, that's the best I've ever ran in a 400, and uh, just to be able to be up on that podium and being in front of all the stands and everyone in it. So, yeah, I'm extremely pleased. Were you able to run your race like you normally do, or did you have to make any changes down here at the state meet? Um, I was in lane three. I had Lane White, who was uh, the top qualifier for yesterday in lane four, so I just tried to keep up with him as best as I could. Just all I had in my head was just the sun shining off a silver medal right now, so that's all I was thinking about, so that helped push me through. D3 girls action. Rushi starting the day off well as senior Leah Francis taking fourth in the 100 hurdles, time of 15.21 ticks. Then later on in the day, Raiders sophomore Lauren Heaton comes from behind to win the 400 as she falls across the finish line in first. Her time 57.29. Riverdale Sarah Hunter sixth. Anna's Kennedy Glover ninth. Heaton a bit surprised with the victory. I passed the Gibson girl in the last session. Wow, it's amazing. Seventh place last year, first place this year. Uh, did you change any strategy this season? No, I mean, my first 200, I go out a little slow, and then my last 200, I just try to kick it in. That's, that's about it. Busy day for the Tenora ladies. Start out in the 100. Tori Abdul sprints to a win in 12.36. USV's Brittany Holbrook makes the podium in eighth. On to the four by two. 4x2, more from the Rams Golden in 143.21, Columbus Grove 6th, Minster 9th. Next up is the girls' mile, and it's New Knoxville's Cassie Boyle edging Botkins Chloe Floor for 5th with a time of 5-12, Holgate's Emma Willett 9th. 4x1 now, it's Abdul and the Rams again. 3rd gold in 48.9 seconds, Grove takes 7th in this race, 300 hurdles. Covington's Jackie Seafreen adds a gold to her long jump title, and Continental's Paige Ordway makes the podium in seventh. In the 800, Fort Lormie's Meg Westerheide finishes second for a second straight year. Van Buren's Rachel Resnick eighth, with Corey Rawson's Hannah Rebke ninth. Four by four, the Minster ladies get the silver, just edged by Archibald's 356, Marion Local sixth. Finally, the 200, Tori Abdul's fourth gold in 24.86 seconds. Ali Toby fourth for the Flyers. Rams, Chelsea Seifert fifth. It's been a long road for Abdul to get to the top of the podium. I was in foster care for five years and I, God saved me and through track he has brought me through a lot of ruts and I've used track to get out of those ruts and so I run for God and because he has given me so much I try to give him the glory. Amazing stuff there. Field day now. Start with the Division II pole vault and Elida's Tori Bowen taking the early lead as she was the first to clear. She finished 10th as she would go over 12 feet. For sales, Jenna France following suit, clears 10-8, and she would take 7th in Division Two. More from the pole vault, Liberty Benton's Sam Johnson over 10-4. She would finish in 9th place. Girls shot put, Bell Fountain's Brenda Johnson throwing on a torn ACL, finishes 7th. Toss of 39, four and a quarter inches. Bandwurst, Alexis Dowdy back at state second straight year, and she would finish on the podium with a fourth place toss of 41, 10 and a half inches. Division one long jump, Salina's Becca Carr going 17 feet, eight inches, as Carr would finish in sixth place for the Bulldogs. Lima senior in three events today. London Williams takes 12th in the shot, Rico Stafford at fifth in the 400, and the boys four by four relay team takes seventh. The Spartans grab six points. Alexis Dowdy's little siblings were her inspiration. 
I love when Aaron and Amaya, my little siblings, are there. Um, they, uh, I don't know, I just can't do bad when they're there. I, it's just awesome having them there. For the second straight year, athletes from around the state qualified in the wheelchair events. Ada's Danny Klinger finished fifth in the 100, 400, and 800, while Van Wert's senior Tyler Priest had a shot put over 11 feet to take fifth as well. Special moments in Columbus honoring these great athletes. Let's take a look at the final Division Three standings. McDonald edges Tenora by one point for the state title. Otherwise, Tenora would have had two team titles today. Perhaps. We'll get to the Tenora baseball highlights in a little bit. Marin Local, Minster Rushi, top 11 finishes. And as we mentioned earlier, LCC boys, by far the Division Three champion with 52 points. Bluffton, a fifth place finish. Liberty Benton and Crestview rounding out the top 15.